We're all in this together. We're on the same boat. This too shall pass. Things happen for a reason. The air is cleaner. The earth is healing. It's all just a bad dream. Somewhere between the Higgs boson and the Mayan prophecy of 2012, realities were split and the timeline where you find yourself awake now along with multiverses extending outward and inward into infinity and beyond were all figments of a bizarre imagination of Toy Story. What's the story, Morning Glory? Oasis of love, your beloved senators wandering, spreading the hate about. If the rules don't apply to them, does it mean it's all a charade? Draw some stick figures, act out, hangman, one word, two syllables, English, sounds like the apocalypse, on a subutimal ride. Don't be afraid, they would drop numbers and line graphs and frequency distribution tables, because they know you're too busy to pay attention. But the devil is in the details, the lie is in the radio waves. In 60 gigahertz, it will break down the oxygen covalent bonds, rendering ventilators useless. The lungs collapse. The blood is out of breath. Bill Gates would have you believe his donations and the hundreds of millions of dollars will all just be in the name of an altruistic desire to help the human race get out of my face. He's been cooking up a comeback ever since the world took a bite of the apple, proclaimed Steve Jobs as the Silicon Valley Jack Sparrow pirate revolutionary bee's knees. He may think himself no, with a sea vault up in the Arctic, revelations of a great cataclysm through his super quantum ultra electromagnetic computing ultron savior of the human race. But prophets are fools. Prophets almost always take hold of their scruples. Smudge and dirty the signal, co-opted, corrupted. Only trustworthy voice you can find is the one with the least likes, the least views. For that is the only way to remain pure. If these words become famous, you cannot trust it anymore.